In this video, I want to talk a little bit about what alternative splicing is. Alternative splicing, otherwise known as alternative processing, the simple idea of it is simply that we're taking the same, you can take the same mRNA transcript and it can be sliced in different ways. Now, why is that significant? Because this yields different proteins from the same gene. One gene will give you one particular mRNA transcript. And then once you have that mRNA transcript, if you can splice it in different ways, those mature mRNAs will be different. And different mature mRNAs will yield different protein products. So if we imagine this example here, this is a, a, a pre-mRNA here with its 5' prime cap here and its 3' prime poly A tail here. And each of these little letters here, A, B, C, all the way through, H will represent exons, so those are the sequences that are supposed to stay, or are supposed to end up in the mature mRNA. And then these numbered, these Roman numerals here represent uh, introns, which will be cut out, and they will not be in the mature mRNA. So this can be spliced in a variety of ways. I've only shown two here, but if alternative splicing occurs, maybe we'll take out some exons, and then we'll yield it so that only exons A, C, E, F, and G show up in the mature mRNA and then in the second case we'll have A, B, C, D, E, and H in our mature mRNA. Then this mRNA can then be translated and so can this one and they'll yield different proteins because they're different mRNAs. So the whole idea here is that the same initial transcripts can yield different mRNAs and different proteins. So why would this ever be useful? Well, because maybe in the in you know in your kidney, this might be the way the the mRNA is spliced. But in maybe your brain, this might be the way that mRNA transcript is spliced. Who knows? So one thing I do want to note here, I have these little pink stars above the three prime poly A tails, is to note that they have different poly A uh, sites different poly A sites. So notice this one is attached at the G and this one is attached at the H. So there might be multiple poly A sites and that's what allows for alternative processing to even happen because that you need to have these three prime poly A tails attached. I hope that video was helpful in understanding alternative processing. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moofuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.